I'm Bruno. I'm Ted Milan Fashion Week. Gay Borat. <laughs> <laughs> Bruno. That's, that's all I kept thinking of. I was like, it's Borat without a mustache and some ashless chaps on. You know, not, not just say that. What we need is a movie where Borat meets Bruno. There was a moment in here I thought for sure they were going to do it. We need a scene. <laughs> we, we need a movie where Borat has sex with Bruno. No, we don't need <laughs> that movie. We well, don't. Uh, Bruno that's tried like, to. That's like matter and antimatter colliding. It's like <laughs> a big giant ball of hair. Almost completely hairless, except in exactly the wrong spot. When they meet, the universe ends. And it, and it, and it rains hair everywhere. It rains hair <laughs> It everywhere. rains a mustache. Uh, uh, how Isla Fisher puts up with it, I will never understand. I know, man. Because, I mean, speaking of just having sex, I mean, Bruno, that's what annoyed me about him. Bruno tried to have sex with everything that he crossed. Well, yeah. except women. <laughs> that's true. They were safe. Yeah. Yeah. If, if you're a woman around Bruno, you got it made. Yeah, yeah. So if you're uh, like a butch lesbian, don't you, you know, you might. That, that's the only way we'll probably have sex with you. With him, yeah, if, you, if you're so butch, he mistook you for a man. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> He'd be like, hey, get off me. <laughs> wear, don't wear your lumberjack shirt <laughs> around Bruno. Maybe, maybe we should do like a little like, you know, just, just a warning here that, look, we like gay people. We got gay friends, right? We got lots of gay friends. Hell no, I ain't got no gay friends. They might try to fuck me. No, I'm kidding. Of, co- of course we got yeah, gay nah, okay. No, ha- Half the spill members I work with are gay. It's <laughs> still been, it's- this is true yeah. except for right oh, let's here. see there's Leon uh, Leon's lips Le- Leon's ass wow no you, you've been thinking about my ass a lot we got no you? problem hey can you give me a second to be serious here so we don't get in trouble I'm just trying Jeez. to get myself it's too late man so we might use terms like fag hag or something like that which would be by the way the biggest fans of this movie most likely or just talk like this I'm Corey behave yeah what, and what's different from any other time wow but, no, man what? you just made me realize like I can't use the word fag hag anymore, and I just I, I, used to, I used to love that term, but that's that's the same as nigger rig. This so is the I have last to like time. Back off this is the now. last time we can say that. Fuck yeah, this is love the last that review. word. Get it out now. Damn, man. so I can't say wow that fag hag helped me nigger rig my car so <laughs> let it run again. Well, you can still say n rig. I have to I have to say jury rig. That looks like a that looks like a foreign word when you put n rig. Like n rig, n rig. <laughs> but man, no, and now is, you have to be. What is that? I don't know. You can't say the short version of fag hag. You can it's still fag. You can say, <laughs> oh, you know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Fag. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah right. no, there's okay. no getting around that. Yeah. Uh, so but, bundle of sticks, hag. <laughs> well, in this <laughs> movie, see, in England, hag. That's there. I appreciate this movie for what it did. First of all, uh, if you don't know, Sasha Baron Cohen, uh, before people knew him, he was three characters on this show, the the the, the, the Ali G show. Yeah, he was the Ali G, who pretty much was a wigger. Is well, it was just just Ali G, not not the Ali. I mean, it was, it was the, called, Ali, oh, the Ali G show, it but it was his called the Ali G. But yeah, he was his Ali character G. was I'm Ali sorry. G. Yeah. yeah, respect, you know. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but he was he was pretty much a a, a wigger, white yeah. gangster rapper yeah, type. Yeah, a, a British be. wigger. <laughs> yeah, British wigger, and and but he had two other characters that kind of eclipsed the Ali G character. First, it was Bruno, which gave us. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. First, it was Borat, which yeah. gave us the Borat movie, who right. was uh, the guy from Kaz- what is it? Uh, Kazakhstan. 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 Kazakhstan uh, who comes to America and doesn't understand our culture so much that he ends up putting himself in these really uncomfortable situations for him in the audience. And now he has a character who's probably even more uncomfortable than that, who was Bruno, an Austrian gay guy who at one time was big in the fashion area. Well, he's like a, a fashionista. He he yeah. dictates. He has a TV show. He dictates fashion. Funky time. Yeah, yeah. and and King I, I mean the German. E entertainment channel, basically. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, Germans or Austrians, or, I don't know if they if they make a big point of the difference, but they're known for, you know, you know, you get stuff like uh, what's the what's the Mike Myers deal like Dieter and uh, oh yeah, yeah and yeah. Uh, Sprockets. You know, you see you see a, a, a sketch like that, you know, it's based on real stuff. Somebody's definitely touching this guy's monkey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, Bruno, he's a fashionist. He's telling everybody what's what's hot, what's not. Yeah. And, and on the show, his character actually had that bit. He would go and interview certain people and he would make them in, in typical now Sasha Baron Cohen's his shtick his act is that people don't know he's playing a character so he'll bring in all these people from politicians to religious types to conservatives and even people who are cool but just don't understand where the fuck this guy's coming from and since they don't know who he is they get really freaked out by these interviews and that's what he did on the show he'd say I'm, I'm a fashion uh, show host come on in he'd talk to these people and they'd be like okay this is a little too weird for me now he has this movie where in the film he gets kicked, he gets fired from his show because of a, a runway incident with a right. Velcro suit. And so since he doesn't have a show anymore, he says, well, in Austria, I'm a nobody, but now I would go to America 
and be a big time celebrity. And of course, when he comes here, uh, it's it goes between him talking to people who are pretty much plants and stage scenes and to talking to real people who don't know who he is. And like I said, are pretty freaked out. By yeah, him. it's it's. It's the same formula as Borat, essentially, yeah. except this time the editing is so much tighter. And I don't mean that in a complimentary way. I mean mm-hmm. it in a way that feels like, wow, they had to cut out a lot and do a lot of like posed reaction shots to make this work and feel like Borat did naturally. Well, that was yeah. the thing. I mean, Borat started with more of a, a simple premise of kind of like, you know, Lotka from Taxi coming over to interview people and being really inappropriate. And it was kind of like like pushing to see how far can this guy go with just on people's nicety, but he's also bringing out their prejudice, their racism, their xenophobia. Mm-hmm. Now, with, with Bruno, he's not just pushing the whole homophobic thing i mean he's pushing like lots of boundaries on like the, the way he makes people feel uncomfortable you don't have to be homophobic to to you react strongly yeah. to, to what he's doing most gay people i know would be grossed out and react badly to what the way he behaves yes yeah yeah uh, i mean because there's certain situations that he goes into because it, i mean and this is what i didn't really like about the movie too much i mean it goes overboard with the gay jokes okay speaking of that can I actually make cock jokes this review now? Can I say cock and make cock jokes and talk about cock? Because this movie has more cock than any movie ever. <laughs> you, I, I just love it. You you could not wait for the one movie where you can say cock over and so over again. So I can again. make my cock joke now? <laughs> you, you are busting at the seams. Can I like, do it? Yeah, go ahead. Ah, oh, shit. Now I can't. <laughs> Seriously, you, you, you could go to, to a, a Tijuana cock fight and not see as much cock as no, you do yeah. in this movie. Yeah, it, I, I think this got more cock than gay oh, no. porn usually does. It is so weird. To see, I, I swear to God that Sasha Baron Cohen is an exhibitionist. He cannot wait to not only pull his clothes off, but to have his peanuts get up and do a, a hat and cane dance for yeah, you. To do uh, horrible things to his own body. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he, I mean, there's scenes where his penis is flapping in slow motion. There's scenes where his nutsack is moving in slow motion. There's a scene where his penis actually looks at the screen and says, Bruno. Says it. <laughs> yeah. says, says it. Says, you look at it, it's like, I hope that's CG because I feel a little inadequate looking at a talented oh, penis more than, more than mine. That's the one time I was that's like, That's the Damn. only white penis that ever made you feel inadequate. No, I'm beating my own penis. Like, you can't talk. Talk, motherfucker, talk. <laughs> Mr. Johnson, what you got to say? It's like that, it's, it's like that cartoon with Michigan I'm J. Lonely. Frog. Yeah. <laughs> so, Hello, it's my like baby. That, it's like that cartoon with Michigan J. Frog. I'm out on stage. I'm drinking water. My cock is like not saying my my penis. Is not, now you got me saying it. My penis is not saying anything. It's just come on, man. See, people is talking here. Corey, Corey, now see, the last time Corey did that, it was at the auditorium of a high school. <laughs> and with two armed guards waiting to take him off stage afterwards. So it's probably good that all he did was croak. I swear he knows Shakespeare. <laughs> talk! Talk! Can you still hear my cock, Clarice? I mean, the, the funny thing about you know what he's doing here, it's kind of like a mixture of uh, punked and mm. jackass. Uh, except, you know what, Sasha Baron Cohen, I mean, w- what you got to give him props on is how he is fearless. These situations he walks yeah. into, this movie, it's not even so much a comedy as it is an endurance test yeah. on how much how much can you watch. You watch a guy going into a situation where you just know he's going to get the fuck beat out of him or, or killed, and he just does it anyway, stays in character. Well, it's a combination of that and shock value. Like the sequence in Borat where he's wrestling naked on the bed right. with the other guy. This whole movie, at least half of the comedy functions is that. Is that. Yes. Is that humor so if that was like the one part of borat where you were like that was a little too much for me this might not be for you you may not actually like bruno yeah I, i'm thinking this is the one where people thought that bruno was funny those uh, half that borat. audience i mean i'm god damn those two yeah. guys <laughs> <I know. laughs> those, those people who thought that borat was funny and a lot of people thought it was funny that audience is going to be divided in half and those people oh gonna, yeah those yeah. people are going to say no this is bullshit man and I, I mean but really it's this movie to me is almost like the Hurt Locker, where it's like there, there, there are scenes. <laughs> it's a, it's a bag hag simula- simulator. Yes, I mean there, there I don't are, have that game. <laughs> no, no, there, there are scenes in this movie where I really did think he was gonna die. He goes on a hunting trip with some of the most backwards ass country bumpkins I've ever seen, yeah. and he gets naked. And I'm thinking, okay, this is one of those situations where you are gonna go too far and put your ass in their face. They're gonna take one of them hillbilly rifles and stick it right up your ass and fire. Uh, what, hell, you think that's something? I mean, he goes over to the Middle East and he walks around in the gayest outfit possible yeah. and gets chased. And then a goes, parody of a Hebrew outfit, right? Yeah, even worse. And and I guarantee you that chase was real. Oh yeah. no, I, I'm betting that was real. And then when he goes to to uh, interview the the guy who's the leader of the terrorist organization oh, and says man. the most 
<laughs> the most outrageous thing. And like, you wouldn't even say this to somebody over here that you didn't like. This is, you can feel them going, how in the world are we ever going to top what we did with Borat? We're going to have to get you killed. That's yeah, the yeah, only yeah. way we can sell this and he, movie. And he tries. I mean, <laughs> there, there were plenty of situations where he could have been shot with a shotgun, been beheaded, be, beheaded, beheaded by a terrorist. I mean, and I, the only thing that I can think that saves him is that people just get so annoyed by him. They just want him out, right? Because yeah. that terrorist guy, he even said, out <laughs> just get out i don't even know how to respond I to you i refuse to kidnap you I, mean, I will not give you the pleasure of killing you get out it, it has me because they agreed to let cameras in there in the first place just just know there's a camera around and i did invite this on myself but i this better end real soon it's that occam's razor that ruins this on some level because in borat you know no that's not occam's razor oh, it's not what no. am i thinking of um I, it's something it's not occam's, o- occam's thinking razor. Of gillette. <laughs> <Gillette's> razor. <laughs> uh, uh, occam's razor is the, the simplest answer you're right the most you're likely. right well it's the other one whatever yeah. that is. i know what you're talking about yeah, yeah, yeah. the name but of the it. idea is that like a being observed changes any experiment and in this case in borat it made sense because they're like oh yeah we're documenting our chronicles our trip to america we're making a documentary and here why are these people accepting their cameras there? It never makes sense, except that the whole thing, it, even if it's not staged, it feels more staged. It, no, it does. And it, and it is more staged. I mean, half this movie is staged. Uh, we, uh, Leon and I were just talking about this. Uh, in Borat, there's two scenes where Borat is pretty much staged when he's in Ka- 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 Kazakhstan. Ka- 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 Kazakhstan. And that's the beginning and the end. Yeah. Uh, the whole center of that movie, except for like a, a one or two plans, it, it's, it's real. Now, in this movie... I was disappointed because there were certain scenes where I was thinking, oh, I can't wait to see where this goes. And then you realize, oh, man, that guy's in on the joke. I'm really disappointed by that. And the other thing about it is that Bruno, to me, just got annoying sometimes. Yeah. I just wanted somebody to castrate his ass. I mean, see, what, <laughs> what Jesus, this, man. <laughs> what, because he always was trying every, it was almost like he had every chance he had to, like, put his balls in somebody's face. Well, well and that, yeah. and see, no, that was right. That's you're what right. annoyed me about the movie. Uh, I admire the film for bringing out the homophobia in people. And you, damn, were you over there farting? With the, <laughs> he's trying to open up a, he's trying to open up a soda. Just open it, all right? <laughs> Are you that goddamn thirsty? <laughs> oh, oh no, he's on, putting man. the bottle. Yeah, come on, I had enough of that tonight. Don't, don't deep throat the bottle, jeez. Uh, not, um, <laughs> not, no, it took it. It really took some uh, very uh, uh, the easy way out with the gay jokes, and I love it when he actually. Proved a point by bringing out the homophobia in people, but, but which, he brought it out in obvious people he in the South. In, yeah, are yeah. you like wow? You're not even you know. I mean, you're in Borat. It felt like a lot of time he was getting those right wing, but but moderate right wing. The guys who are trying very hard to be polite about as they can about this, and he, you know, he's subtle and subtle with this stuff where they can still believe it until finally he does something outrageous. They're like, okay, that's it. And they yeah. do. He does bring out real xenoph- xenophobia in these people, and here. Anyone would have reacted badly to what he's doing, and he's going to the most homophobic people he can possibly yeah. find. It doesn't mean anything here. Whereas in Borat, it felt like it felt like you were almost watching something important in a comedy. And here, yeah. it's just some big, really scary gay guy waving his balls and and goatsy in your face. And it's not clever. I mean, f- um, this is the kind of thing. If I was if if I was gay, no joke, sorry. No, if I was gay, I would. I would be a little bit offended. I'd be like, you know, I can see what you're trying to do, but at the same time, these are the stereotypes that make people dislike gay people even more. So nah, when you go true. to the, when you go to the south and you give them a stereotype, it's not helping one bit. Wildly exaggerated. Now, yeah. No, I you know, we know there are gay guys like that out there, but hell, there are heterosexual guys out there like that too who do extremely deviant sexual oh, yeah. behavior. Yeah, I mean it is the thing. There's there's a, a certain scene I you know, I don't know how much to spoil, but it's a, he goes he goes to a swingers party. Well not not even swingers party, when he's handcuffed to his lover in the bed oh, and, and the hotel it. guys come in and the room, you you know, you got gerbils, you got plastic on the with with, with chocolate or, or shit hand stains everywhere, and the hotel guys are just disgusted, they're like they want to touch it and you're like oh that's because these guys are homophobic it's like that could be a married couple and yeah. you still no, wouldn't want anything is, to do with it yeah, yeah it's a disgusting situation i mean if you got shit stains on the wall the first thing i'm gonna do is walk right back out yeah to it. so you expect me to clean up your ass stains it, on the wall it defeats the point that yeah. he supposedly is trying to make here and okay now i'm we're criticizing this i still thought this movie was funny i, I laughed a lot at a lot of different places but then a lot of times it was truncated too soon you're laughing and then you're like oh well that didn't really play out as good you know as that's what it, that's what it is when we saw Bora we were laughing so hard like the it was a continuous laugh to the point where like we were in pain it was like please yeah. i i can't breathe don't do anything else funny oh no now he's doing something else and with this yeah it, there'd be some big laughs but then it didn't stop 
another big laugh, wait a while, another big laugh. And in between the laughs was either stuff that was just kind of like, eh, two stage, or where it was just like so uncomfortable, it couldn't even laugh at it. It's like, man, this is painful. I don't even want to watch this. Well, and, yeah. and poor Ron Paul. Ron yeah. Paul, who wants to run for president, he, he set him up and, and punked him. It's like, I mean, oh, that's an old man. Okay, Come I got I to admit, that's, that was funny to me. I mean, we're sitting up here criticizing the movie, yeah, but that there's about three or four really funny scenes in this movie, and the one with Ron Paul is one of them, because Ron Paul, man, I, I, I got to give it to that dude. He wrote it out, man. He did, I mean, Sasha Barrett Cohen is over there, as as Bruno, like, bending over, like, asking him uncomfortable questions. Like, he had hey, to take you know. his pants off before he, Ron Paul left. And Ron Paul's like, get away from me! <laughs> but see, wait, wait, I love Sasha Baron Cohen in that scene, because that was real good, the way he did the whole seduction, like, oh, we have a light blowout, can you come in here? And just, just subtly putting on the music, <laughs> turning the lights down, you mind if I light some candles? And the way Ron Paul was trying to look away and avoid it. Uh, and I mean, watch it come this, is, this is the kind of thing you see in cartoons because he's yeah. sitting there not doing anything and you can just see the sweat just forming on him. He ain't even moving. He's trying to like ride it out and he's just sitting up there like he can't take it no more. It's like he finally just erupts. Get away from me! And runs out of there. But man, see, you know, the, the reason why Borat worked is because Borat was charming because he, he was. was he was ignorant. Yeah. You said this guy's in these uncomfortable situations because he doesn't understand. Bruno is just really intentionally trying to be in people's faces. Yeah. And and he's pushing their buttons. Like I said, he's he is a stereotype that does not help the situation at it's all. It's easier to forgive ignorance than it is stupidity. It's like maybe Bruno, you know, if if the, if the character was real, didn't know, but he should know better. Where, yeah. You know, where where you could see where you know Borat just doesn't know. Yeah. yeah. He was completely uneducated country. Yeah. You know? No. Yeah, I, I, he's fourth world if there is. <laughs> but there, I mean, fifth world really. <laughs> and see, for people who don't think like everybody's like, oh, y'all were talking about those transformers. You got to, you just hate anytime they make fun of black people. Look, let me tell you something. The funniest part in this movie is where oh, Borat yes. oh, yeah. adopts that black baby and goes on that talk show. Yeah, that, that was know? ten minutes of pretty much nonstop hilarity. That that that, that was the like sequence. the yeah the, the, uh, like the biggest oh. longest funniest part of the movie. That was it. <laughs> yeah, those oh, those black women were about to like lynch his ass. Yeah. I mean, you about to have a reverse lynch, and they were about to rip his. <laughs> ass apart <laughs> well, it was because the crowd was nothing but big black people it was like full of this fat black women and fat black men the black it, women were fatter than the black men i mean it's really like like they recruited the audience from oak cliff in dallas to, to you know to sit in on the richard bay show it was an audience full of monique yes even the men looked like monique <laughs> they, they looked like monique with a beard <laughs> it was like, and i was just waiting i really did think it was another situation where i really think that they were gonna kill him how did you find your son i swapped him you swapped the baby for what? For an iPod. What? <laughs> Not just any iPod, one that was like limited edition, red. A U2 iPod heard of it? All right, but, but wait a second. You are the baby's father now, and you chose to dress that baby up in a T-shirt that says what? Gaby. That's not the baby's name, is it? No, I gave him like a traditional African name. So what's the baby's name? OJ. <laughs> yeah, that was that was not a, a friendly crowd. In fact, <laughs> even me being there, if I was there because I was marching for black rights, I would be been a little scared on stage in front of those <laughs> people. They were ready to kill. I, I can be honest, man. I. I was jealous. I was like, I so wish I could have been in that audience to watch that <laughs> right there at, at Ground Zero in real life. Oh, yeah. No, I, I wish I could have, too, because we, you know, but we would have been, see, we would have died before uh, Sasha Barry Corn because we would have been in the audience And y'all two niggas sitting there laughing. You think this shit is funny? And, yeah. And, when, and, no, ah, ah! <laughs> in both situations where he really confronts a large group of angry people, he has himself completely protected because he has to. Oh, yeah. You know, otherwise, he would have been ripped to shreds. The time he just goes just so far over the line it was this and another time we don't want to talk about because it, it's at the end but yeah uh, yeah it's like i said it's just it, it just feels a little too calculated it's not off the cuff at the same time and it's after borat like maybe if we'd seen this first and yeah. there wasn't a big hoopla about it it could have easily have been one of those movies like man you got to watch this nobody would have ever told you about it but you're gonna love this movie and maybe you would have but coming as it does, it's like, yeah, we've seen it before. We've seen it better. It's still, I still got a lot of laughs out of it, but just not enough. Yeah, no, no, it's yeah. it's it's uh, it makes you wonder what he's going to do next, though, because they've said over and over again, 
this is it for these type of films of doing these with a character that they're well, trying you, to push as real. Well, no. You can't do them anymore. Uh, and that's great. That's good. This should be it. This is a, this is where you should leave it. But you know, what's he going to do next? I I, he obviously can only do characters with heavy accents. Well, he's gone through his three. And to be honest, uh, of those three characters he used to do in the show, Bruno was always the weakest. Yeah. But, but there had to be a lot of footage shot that never got used. Cause I heard about how like he got Ben Affleck on one. Ben Affleck came out like, man, I just had this, this gay Austrian uh, guy talk to me and it was weird. Somebody had to tell him like, Dude, that was Sasha Baron Cohen. You totally got punked, and you're going to be in his movie. <laughs> but the footage never shows up. So was it Ben Stiller? No, no I said uh, Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. Oh, and, and Ben Affleck's thinking to himself, "Geez, I just fucked that guy." Too. <laughs> 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 uh, but but uh, yeah, no. I, I I how about him just go out and make a movie? Just make a real movie. Well, at well this he point. makes movies. I he know was, that's what I'm saying. He was in Talladega Nights, but let's he's the best it, part he was of it. Playing too. another extreme character well, like he, that. Well, he can another, act. I mean. He was in a teeny, oh, teeny, teeny swat. He was in Sweeney <laughs> Todd. Todd. Yeah. yeah, that's true. He was in Sweeney yeah, Todd. Yeah, the guy can act. So I'm just like, you know, fuck. I was characters. saying watching this, you know, I'm a big fan of early punk rock. And he is Bruno. If you took away the, the, the gayness, just the way he looked, you know, with the hair and everything, he looked like Iggy Pop. He yeah, exactly yeah, really does. like he Iggy does, Pop. He does. He does. I know can't what? believe they're casting Elijah Wood in, instead of him. And I, and I was thinking to myself, like, uh, wow, when he's got... Uh, lip gloss on he looks like a chick i used to go out with <laughs> <laughs> but wow and you, you sh- and you made us stop telling gay are, jokes about are you are you sure that was a chick <laughs> no, was that's a man <laughs> baby <laughs> it was dark it was wet okay. uh, now you know something I, I i was thinking about this movie and i was like wow i really got some good laughs out of this hold on Sorry, y'all getting frustrated with me. That was co-host calling to come out of his box, right? <laughs> I had to stop the recording. But no, where was I? Oh, yes. I got some really good laughs out of this. And I was thinking, maybe this my complaints are, uh, are, are not worth mentioning as much as, uh, as, as as the entertainment I got out of this. But then I started thinking about what we were saying. Like, you know something? There's, that, for God's sake, man, the, the movie starts out with, uh, ass insertion jokes and I'm just like this is this is a cop out I mean this is the first five minutes I really do think that this was uh, on the slightly offensive side for gay people uh, and I don't think it helped at all even though I understood what he was trying to do so given the given that and given that I did get some really good laughs out of it I'm gonna give it a, a rental really wow a, a good really? No, yeah a really good rental I mean it, yes yeah, it, hey look it's not like it's something you need to see on the big screen and you can watch it at home and rent it and, and, and you you make a good point. I, I, I debated with myself back and forth, too, because it, 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 to me, it started as a strong matinee, but there are those different points about it. And, yeah, I, you know, it, it goes to that, that place of the super offensive, right, right, you know, a dick in your face jokes so early on and stays there longer than I would like. Still got tons of laugh, very funny movie, but you don't have to see it on the big screen. So it puts me in a position where I'm not really sure, but I think I'm going to end up with a low matinee. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm okay, trying to no, work this out as I'm okay, talking. No, he's, like, okay. he's writing an equation on the, on the, on the chalkboard it, it, it a a formula. You know, you know, people, people always want to know, like, well, how'd you come to that? Like, how, you know, how do you back up that opinion? If you take the balls and divide them by the laughs I had in the movie. We, we, we do our best, but in the end, it's totally arbitrary. It, yeah, we pick is. our answers out of a hat but, before but, the review But invariably, we get, how could you give this <laughs> a that when you gave that movie a this? Well, we're like... <laughs> Well, that should be our ratings. I give this instead of that. When we're done playing our characters of just a couple of guys who give film reviews and go back to our highfalutin jobs in skyscrapers for the New York Times, we're well, yeah, getting a Paramount with all the elite, getting yeah, getting yeah, paid Paramount by Paramount text. to say what we want them to. Uh, we come down and decide what we're going to do. And here, you know, it's I can't agree with you. This isn't a good movie to see in a theater because really, this is a crowd movie. Well, that's it's true. one of those ones because of the outrageous nature of the humor. It's going to be more fun with a big group of people who are screaming and going. And, oh no you didn't and saying stuff like that yeah it's one of those movies and i'm gonna have to give this a high matinee for that reason i mean borat was almost better than sex it was True. so good yeah and and this would have been better had we seen this first we yeah. given a little higher little better rating because you know now it's just a okay we're already familiar with the formula but I still laughed through most of this movie, despite See, its problems. It's because of that audience factor. We saw it with, in Austin with kind of a liberal crowd. I overheard that the Soul City, if you couldn't guess, Soul City is a bunch of black people go see movies, you know, because they probably get that. Those are the people who got the free tickets for right, Soul City. Right. And I heard some woman saying, uh, like, the Soul City crowd was walking out. This is bullshit. Fuck this. And <laughs> I do not, I, don't, I just don't want to be sitting there when half the audience is having their homophobia brought out and, and aggressively so. And I'm yeah. just, you know. Okay, I, so if, if you live in a progressive town, you know, like, like, like Austin or Portland or Madison, Wisconsin, by all means. Yeah. Full, full price to matinee. 
But uh, don't take your kids. <laughs> uh, but if you live not. in Brooklyn, yeah, no, no, I mean Brooklyn's pretty progressive too. If you yeah. like talking if, penises, okay, this if, is your fine. Mind. If, if you live, in, if you live in Memphis, if you, yeah, if you live in Alabama, you live in, yeah, butt crack Tennessee. It yeah. probably is not playing there. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You know what? They would play it there as a test. Like, if you walked and bought a ticket, they would just take you out the back and beat, your, beat the shit out of you, <laughs> tar and feather you, and send you on to West Virginia. No, well, they would finish the job and hang you. Yeah, yeah. No, I think it is shown in Alabama, Tennessee, Louisiana, but it's shown as an educational film. <laughs> yeah, they, don't, they don't know that that's an actor. You see? This is what homosexuality leads to. No, not in West Virginia. They're like, it's a hole. It's wet. That's <laughs> no, where your family's that's from, true. right, Gordon? Yeah. <laughs> That's where your family's from. Yeah, yeah, you talking Virginia. about? I'm from Virginia, right? <laughs> we make fun of West Virginia. Thank you very much. They serving up a pig right now. While serving, I mean, fucking it. <laughs> yeah, but that's not gay. <laughs> <laughs> As long as it's the girl pig. <laughs> but you got to admit, though, I mean, he has raised the bar to a point where the jackass guys might as well give it up. That's true. They, 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 they ain't nothing they can do well, to you, top this. A bunch of pussies by comparison. <laughs> well, you know what? I thought that was going to be the next jackass movie. Like, what can we do? Let's just have sex with each other. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Look at the four of us. We are so like the sex and the city girls. Oh, no, we aren't either. Which one are you, Donnie? I ain't either one of them. I'm Donnie. That is such a Samantha thing to say.